This video was taken five days after the Queen had died. My wife and I travelled up to London to view her coffin as it was being transported back from Scotland to Buckingham Palace. We'd headed up a couple of hours early so the area was quite quiet and amazingly as we crossed the road a police motorcyclist stopped us and I quickly got my camera out and then saw King Charles approaching. As he passed we waved at him and I'm pleased to say he waved back to us. Since then I've done some research on the car. It's a Rolls-Royce Phantom 4 from 1950, so amazingly it's 72 years old. They only made 18 of them and 16 are still known to exist and they are in museums as well as public and private collections. They were only sold to the world's royalty and heads of state. The car was ordered by the then Princess Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh in November 1948 and it was delivered to them in July 1950 in the colour of Valentine Green. Once Elizabeth became Queen it was then an official state car so it was repainted in the colours of the Sovereign which was royal claret and black. Something I'd never known or noticed was that the Queen has her own bonnet or hood mascot on her state cars which is moved from car to car. It's made of silver and it depicts St George on a horse poised over a slain dragon. You can see it here on her official state Bentley. The Phantom 4 apparently is stored at the Royal Mews when not in use and is occasionally used for royal and state occasions, most recently to transport Charles and Camilla on the wedding of Prince William and Catherine and also transported Meghan to Windsor Castle to marry Prince Harry. As the Sovereign wasn't in the car you can see when transporting Meghan the emblem has been replaced with the spirit of ecstasy. I had no idea of the age or history of the car so I'm so glad we got to see it although very briefly. I hope you found this video interesting and thanks for watching.